Oh, um, oops, wrong thing, sorry, my mistake. Uh, try that again. Uh, roll. Hey guys, so I just finished watching Winchester on Blu-ray, the movie brought to us by the Sperg Brothers starring Helen Mirren as Sarah Winchester, Sarah Snook as Marion Marriott, and Jason Clarke as Dr. Eric Price. Now, the Winchester house is notorious in American folklore as the house that Sarah Winchester, the, the wealthy widow of William Wirt Winchester, who created the Winchester rifle, she had a house that she kept building 24 hours a day, seven days a week, until she died in 1936, adding on rooms constantly, just rebuilding and refurbishing this crazy big mansion. And the folklore is that this is one of the most haunted mansions in America. It's a gargantuan seven-storied structure with no apparent rhyme or reason. Built on the orders of a grieving widow. Sarah Winchester's mind is as chaotic as the house itself. We're worried about her sanity, Dr. Price. Mrs. Winchester, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. And the story brought to us by the Spirit Brothers here is that she believes that the ghosts of all the people who have been killed by the Winchester rifle are coming to her and she is recreating the rooms that they died in to find them some solace and to help them move on so she builds the rooms in this house and contains the spirits of course these kind of films always say they're like based on a true story or somewhat but that is very very loose interpretation of the facts the movie itself is made purely for entertainment uh, some shocks and some scares, a bit of atmosphere, but the reality is definitely more often than not far removed from the actual, you know, the dramatic interpretation we see on film. And purely as an entertainment perspective, yeah, I, I enjoyed this movie. I love the Spirit Brothers. Uh, they've given us some wonderful movies such as Predestination, also starring Sarah Snook and Ethan Hawke, Daybreakers, once again, starring Ethan Hawke. Undead, a really cool Australian zombie flick. Check it out. It's really batshit crazy. And Jigsaw, the latest in the Saw franchise. Um, these guys really know how to craft a story well. They're kooky. They've got a real kind of twist on the way they tell the stories. Although Jigsaw and this were pretty straight-laced and, and forthcoming in their approach to horror. Nothing too quirky about the delivery, but still a lot of fun. I really like their eye. Do you believe in ghosts, Dr. Price? I do not believe in anything I cannot see or study. I feel their presence in the air, in the walls. It has found us. And yeah, jump scares galore in this thing. I was jumping out of my seat all through, all through the bloody film. I don't know if a jump scare justifies making a horror film a horror film they exist they're part of the fun i think horror succeeds more in when it infiltrates your mind and kind of leaves you with a real uneasy feeling of dread and just has you on tenter hooks the jump scare is a nice adrenaline release you you you, you do the jump and then you kind of like sit back and you're like you, you you're clutching your heart having a little money, a little mini heart attack, but then you, you laugh because it's, it's a tension release. But the sustained dread of a true horror film, uh, like The Exorcist, for instance, one of my favourite horror films ever made, once you turn that thing off, it still stays with you. Like a horror film, a true horror film, should make you really afraid to turn a light out when you go in the bed later on in the night. Mrs Winchester, why all the construction? The spirit killed by the rifle. We lock them away. Thirteen nails seals them in. I will do whatever it takes to protect my family. Yes, didn't do that. I'm okay. I'm not like cheering. I'm not like feeling the need to shake over my shoulder too much. 
But um, yeah, the movie was fun. Uh, so Jason Clarke and Sarah Snook, both Aussie actors. This film was filmed in Melbourne as well as in California. So, and the Spirit Brothers are under Australian as well. A big Aussie flavor in this film. This spirit has a power we've not seen before. Beautiful dream, wake on to me. Also, a special shout out to Angus Sampson, who I just love him as a as a character actor. He kind of appears in all these things. He's also most recently appearing in uh, Insidious, the Insidious series. And getting an actress of the caliber of Helen Mirren in your film is also a massive plus. She is a legendary actress. I love her and everything she appears in and she's been around for a long time. She really knows her craft and to have her in your film, uh, it's massive kudos guys, well, well done, that's awesome. So as the film progresses, Jason Clark's character has been summoned by Sarah Winchester to evaluate her mental condition and her health because she's a magnate of this massive company, the Winchester Rifle Company, and they're concluding that she might not be able to keep running this business. She's building this crazy mansion non-stop, people are worried about her sanity, so he's gone to investigate and see if she is indeed of sound body and mind. Uh, it turns out she is. It's just a crazy haunted house. Um, shenanigans ensue and it was fun. Starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. Sounds of the root world heard in the day. I'm not afraid. I'll buy the moonlight of all passed away. You leave my family alone. They couldn't actually film in the real house. Apparently it's too small and cramped so we didn't allow for uh, the ideal filming conditions so most of the house that you see in the film is a set so that there's that as well so it's not the true house um, although it is a massive tourist attraction but I hear Lionsgate actually bought the rights to the house so now tourists who go in there can't actually take any more photos because that is now going to be in direct competition with a feature film. Uh, as a, a film going experience, I love my horror stuff. That's what I've been raised on. I found this easy to watch. It wasn't too offensive in any way. Uh, it wasn't bad. I had some really good performances. Like all the actors in this film are, are top top notch in my book. Um, the story was intriguing. The execution was very well done. The photography was nice. It was nice and moody. Uh, some, like I said, the the jump scares. But as you can see, they're effective. <laughs> Jump scares, like yeah, like I said, they're, they're part of the horror film DNA these days. So yeah, they're, they're fun, but and they got me a few times in this. It was it was good. Uh, giving a rating out of ten, I'd give it a solid. I'd, I'll go a nice round seven. Like I said, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't great. I found the ending did kind of fall down a little bit. It come a little bit stupid, a little silly. But um, overall, the, the journey there was fun. I enjoyed the performances and, like I said, the, the jumps, they got me. But I, I enjoyed the story for what it was. And I am really kind of intrigued by the whole Winchester house uh, phenomenon. Um, also, massive fan of Supernatural, as you might have caught. Um, when I first heard of this film, I did think it was going to be a Supernatural tie-in to some degree. I think that's why they actually did title the movie's release as Winchester, the house that ghosts built. So there is that subtitle just to avoid confusion with the TV series. But anyway, that's the power of Supernatural. It's amazing. So, Winchester, have you guys seen it? What do you think of it? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Your anger will never defeat us.